KK Witchy. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, the reason I'm not on my computer, if those of you that do not know, my computer crashed. But this is going to be October's full moon that's coming up. And it's known as, yes, I am continuing the full moon series because I want to finish it. I may not get to finish my um, tarot deck series until after... Your time, um, sadly, but I'll get those videos posted as quickly as possible. But I had them all done until my computer just went so now recording on my phone, and that also includes Witches of the Moon's videos as well. <laughs> I do apologize if you don't like the narrowness, but right now that's all I'm working with. <laughs> so, Anyway, let's continue on to October's um, full moon, which is known as um, what some of us call the blood moon. Now, for the stones you can incorporate around this time of year is um, opal, and I work very, very closely with onyx around this time of the year. So, um, opal and onyx are those two that I mainly work with around this time of the year. The animals is crow or raven slash dove um, slash blackbird. Sorry. The flowers is marigold and the ruling planet is Venus. Now with that being said, there is a special um, powder that I would like to share with you guys um, that's actually on my calendar. I have like the um, which is calendar 2014 and it has like called a helping hand powder on the calendar and I'll probably share that with you along in this video. So anyway, let's get back to my information that I got down here. So the blood moon gets its name from the fact that she rises to fullness during the opening months of hunting seasons everywhere. During this moon, give thanks to the animals that have give us their lives in order for us to survive. This includes fruits and vegetables to make no mistake every time a seed is plucked from the vine its life shortens. So also not only give thanks to animals with fur and with meat but as well as fruits and vegetables as well because they also do give us life within our being just as much or more as animals do. Sorry, Jasper is like on my tail tonight. So, ideas that you can do for this is um, using red candles or um, burn some spicy type of incense. Um, also, um, if you want like spice pumpkin, if you're into that, that would probably be great. Or um, apple spice candles. I've got these can I got those candles everywhere. I love the smell of spiced apples. You can also decorate the altar with um, animal pictures or figures, autumn leaves, nuts, apples, and pumpkins. So that's different ways you can decorate the altar. You can, for liberation, I think that I am going to do something spicy. So maybe like apple cider, spiced apple cider, uh, apple cider or some uh, red wine. And I think I want to try and make ginger snaps. I've never made ginger snaps before. So I think I want to try and do that and um, see how that works out for liberation. So, on to the Helping Hand Powder. Now, you guys know this is October, and October is known as the Witch's New Year. Some of us may know it as that, and some of us celebrate it as that. However, it does not say anywhere that this has to be your New Year celebration. For me, personally, it's my favorite time of the year. This is when living comes to fullness for me. So, I know that's pretty sad. Anyway, on to, <coughs> excuse me, Jasper, what are you eating? He's being a pain. Okay, anyway, on to the helping hand powder. So, what you're going to need is marigold blossoms, dried or crushed, and you're also going to need, um, white sage, dried or crushed, um, and you'll need graveyard dirt, and this is a great time. And what's 
this powder helps you do is kind of, as witches, um, sometimes some of us like to help spirits that are wandering and lost around this time of the year. So it does, um, helping hand powder, it's for us ourselves to help the spirits. For us to help the spirits. So what you want to do is mix this blend on Halloween night. Um, and then place. What you're going to need is a mirror because spirits love looking at themselves in the mirror. You're going to need a mirror set up before you begin the process. And how I got my mirror set up, um, I've got it facing my door. So you're just going to need to take the bowl. Um, you'll need a bowl of course. And then place it like right there and then have the mirror behind you but make sure the bowls reflect reflected in the mirror so and then with that being said um it has a cute little rhyme that you can say or if you don't want to say a rhyme you don't have to and what you're what this says you say is life has gone out flame of spirit burns bright all can shine on the Samhain night spirits around come play if you can Come dance through the mirror I hold in my hand. Next, put the herbs in the dirt in the bowl on top of the mirror. In the mirror, or reflected in the mirror. And using your fingertips, crush the mixture firmly textured into a powder. As you can, and then you want to chant magical marigold, sage, and earth. Embody the dead give them birth by the light of the moon I charge this powder to invite the ghosts and lend them my power and then you can rub the powder on your palms or your face then hold out a friendly hand to welcome any wandering ghosts to join you this powder atta attracts the attention of spirits and helps them throughout their journey between the living and the dead so that is the helping hand powder. Um, I may do a demonstration on Samhain night. Um, I'm thinking about it. I really am. But I'll let you know. <laughs> I will. I'll let you know. So bye guys. Thanks for watching and many blessings. Oh, and let me know what you guys are doing for um, this October moon. Um, some people even call it the witch's moon. So. Bye, guys. Many blessings.